channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can recreate this Wonder Woman makeup look. So to start off, I'm just going to be using Philosophy's Hope in a Jar for dry skin to moisturize and prep my face. I'm then going to take my Maybelline concealer to cover up my blemishes. And I'm just going to go ahead and buff all of that out with my foundation brush. The foundation that I'm currently using is the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream in the shade Medium. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my face with my foundation brush and just buff it all out afterwards. Taking my NYX concealer to highlight, I'm just going to be applying that under my eye, the tip of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. I'm just going to make sure to blend all of that out with my Beauty Blender. Taking my Airspun Translucent Powder and a Morphe sponge, I'm going to be baking under my eye and we're just going to wait for it to be done and brush off the excess with a fluffy brush. Taking my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit, I'm just going to go ahead and start chiseling out my cheekbone, my jawline, my forehead, and even go on to my collarbones in the decollete area a little bit. Once I've finished with that, I will usually take a combination of my foundation brush and a beauty blender to blend out my contour. I will be using the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette with the shade Medium Cocoa to set the contour, and then taking a big fluffy brush, I'm going to be taking Dark Cocoa to bronze my face. Taking my Lorac Matte Blush in the shade Tinge, I'm just going to go ahead and stipple that on my cheeks. Then, using all four colors from my Anastasia That Glow Glow Kit, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the high points of my face. Then I will set all of this with my Airspun Translucent Powder again. Taking my Morphe 35O palette, I'm going to be taking the ivory shade to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm going to blend that out with my Morphe G24 brush. Next I'm going to take this light camel color on my Eco Tools blending brush and I'm just going to sweep that through my crease just to add a nice base. Then I'm going to mix these two shades together to create a nice simple lid shade. I will then take these two taupey colors and chocolate colors together to create the crease color. And once again, you just want to make sure to blend this all together. Next I will be using my NYX Epic Ink Liner to create a tiny line on my upper lash line. I will then use my Maybelline Nude Eyeliner to tight line my lower waterline. And then I am just going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes. For my mascara, I am going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. Then I'm going to be going back with that taupe shade and apply that under my lash line. For our lips, we're going to start off by taking our Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in the shade Deep and just outlining our lips with that. Then we're going to take our Bite High Pigment pencil in the shade Rhubarb and just fill in our lips. And to finish it off, we're just going to be applying a little bit of the Clear MAC Lip Gloss. Next, I'm just going to pop on some of my favorite lashes. These are the Kiss number 11s. Then we're going to outline our headpiece taking our Graftopian Pro Paint in the shade White Swan. For this, we are just going to reference some photos from the movie and then we are going to try and copy that as much as possible regarding the triangle at the bottom and the numerous shapes and ridges that the headpiece includes. I personally like to outline all of my body paints in white first just so I can get an idea of the placement and then I can go over it with shading and highlights and details later on. So as I was filming my chest piece, I was a dingus and did not have my camera as low as it needed to be, but all I did was just reference this photo and try to copy it as perfectly as I could. Taking our Gilded Gold Graftobian Pro Paint, we're going to start by highlighting the high points of our headpiece. Next, we're going to be taking our Maron Paradise paint in the shade Black to apply this where the crevices and shadows would be on her headpiece. To make the shadows look more realistic, we're going to be applying this chocolate eyeshadow from our 35O palette over top of our black body paint. Next, to make the gold stand out, we're going to be taking our Maron Mixing Liquid in gold powder and we're just going to be applying that over top of our gold body paint. And we are also going to apply this on our chest piece as well. To set the red base color for our chest piece, we are going to be taking red crimson from Graftobian and just starting to fill in what we have outlined earlier. For 
Bearer Baldric, which is basically just a fancy word for what carries her sword, we are going to be taking Fuzzy Bear Brown and just starting to fill in what we have outlined. And for the buckle, we are going to be taking Graveyard Gray and just filling that in as well. Now onto details, we are going to be taking this chocolate color and just starting to shade every place that the chest piece and the baldric would be touching our skin so it looks more 3D. And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.